Hello, and welcome to the 4.2 Notes. Um, this is a section about angles of triangles, and we've got some pretty interesting things that happen here. Um, and the first one I want to talk about is the um, triangle sum theorem, so triangle sum theorem. And what that means is that um, the sum of all angles in a triangle are 180 degrees. Okay, so every if you add the angles in a triangle, they will always add up to 180 degrees. So if I were to just draw a generic triangle here, okay, and I would call this, you know, triangle ABC, okay, I would say that angle... I would say that angle A plus angle B plus angle C, those add up to 180 degrees, okay? So, but there's an extension from this, okay? Um, and this may, may be something that you've seen before, maybe not. Um, but there's an extension, and the extension is that, so extension, um is that if I have a right triangle, okay, if I have a right triangle, okay, um, let me just draw a right angle there, if I called this A, B, and C, um, so in a right triangle, so in, let me rewrite that, um, if I wrote in a right triangle, um, the non-right angles are complementary, okay? So, um, you know, that's kind of, it helps you with like a little bit of, a little bit of a shortcut. Uh, and what I would say here is that angle A plus angle C, those add up to 90, Okay, so that's just an extension from the triangle sum theorem. I don't know why my video is acting up like this. Um, but so that's what we've got there, and we're going to use that quite a bit. Now, there's another little theorem that we can use, um, and I'm going to call that the, um, the exterior angles theorem, exterior angle theorem. Okay, and what that means, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a triangle here. Um, and I'm going to draw a triangle that has one side that's going out uh, like this. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this um, angle one, I'm going to call this angle two, and I'm going to call this angle three, and then I'm going to call this angle out here called four. Okay, and the all of angle one Angle 2 and angle 3 are interior angles, okay? And angle 4 is exterior, okay? And so what I know about this, and we've kind of talked about this before just a little bit, um, is that, you know, we know something here. We know that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees, right? So then um, what I know also, given the situation, is that I have a pair of supplementary angles here, okay? I could also say that angle 1 plus angle 4 is also equal to 180 degrees, okay? Now, one of the things that I can do here is we have to think about something, okay? If I take angle 1, okay, um, which is, you know, right here. I take angle 1, and if I add it to angles 2 and 3, I get 180 degrees, okay? Now, the other thing is, is that I can take angle 1 and add angle 4, and I also get 180 degrees, so the conclusion that I can draw here is that angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 4, okay? So if you have this situation, okay, you can set up an equation and solve for this angle here, 
All right. Now, and what this really does, guys, is it really helps skip a step. You know, both um, the exterior ang angles theorem and the extension from the triangle sum theorem really help us to um, solve a lot of problems. Okay, and so they they help us, uh, you know, kind of answer some questions without us uh, doing a ton of work. Okay, so uh, what this uh, let's take a look at numbers one and two. Um, what I want to do is uh, take a look at number one. And we want to find the measure of each numbered angle. And so it's asking me to find the measure of angle 1 right here. Well, what I know uh, from this is that if I take 80 degrees and add 73 degrees to that, plus angle 1, if I add all those together, I'm going to get 180 degrees. Okay. Now, if I take 80 and 73 and combine those, it's going to give me 153 plus angle 1. And that's equal to 180 degrees. And then if I subtract 153 degrees minus 153 degrees, then I'm going to get that angle 1 is equal to 27 degrees, okay? So, you know, it's very similar, guys. You know, I'm, I'm looking at a picture, and I have to look at it and draw some conclusions. And I know that all the angles add up to 180, so I can set up an equation and solve for those variables, okay, or for those angles. Okay, let's take a look at number 2. Number 2 is pretty similar. Now, it, what I notice here is that I've got... These two angles are congruent. So I'm going to go ahead and call those x and x. Okay? So if I took x plus x plus 146, um, I could set that equal to 180. Okay? And so if I do that, if I subtract 146 from both sides... Then I get, um, and I can combine my x's, so I get 2x is equal to 180 divided by, or I'm sorry, subtracted by 146 gives me 34, okay? And then if I divide by 2 and divide by 2, then I get that x is equal to 17 degrees, okay? So I know this. Now, if x is a 17 degrees, then I know that angle 1 is equal to, and let me rewrite that so it looks a little bit better. Um, I know that angle 1 is equal to 17 degrees, and I know that angle 2 is equal to 17 degrees, okay? So, um, let me make that look a little bit neater. Okay, let me do uh, 17 degrees. Okay, so um, that's that. You know, I'm just sol setting up some equations and solving, okay? Now, uh, over here... Um, you know, I've got this uh, figure over here, okay? And what this tells me, uh, I need to find the measures of angles 1, 2, and 3, I'm assuming. So um, if I take a look at this picture, okay, I can set up some equations and solve this and figure out our angles, okay? Uh, the first thing that I notice here is that I've got these two angles and angle 1, okay? So I can set up an equation... Um, where I've got 85 degrees um, plus 40 degrees plus angle 1 is equal to 180. And if I find angle 1, then I can find all the other angles. So let me combine my like terms here. So 80 plus 40 degrees gives me 125 degrees plus angle 1 is equal to 180. Okay, and I'd subtract 125 from both sides. And so then I get that angle 1 is equal to, what is that, 55 degrees? Okay. So, with that, okay, I know that angle 1 is 55 degrees. Okay. Now, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to label that as 55 degrees. Okay. Now, the one thing that I do know about this is that angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. Okay. These are vertical angles here. Okay. So again, guys, everything that we've learned uh, previously can play a part in what we're doing. So I, if angle 1 is 55 degrees, then I know that angle 2 is also 55 degrees. So angle 2 is equal to 55 degrees. Okay. Now, <coughs> I can set up an equation over here, knowing that that's 55 and this is 55. Okay, I can set up an equation and say... Um, 55 plus 55 plus angle 3, if I add all those up, then that's going to give me 180 degrees, okay? 
So 55 and 55 added together, that's 110 degrees, plus angle 3 is equal to 180. So subtract 110 from both sides, and I end up getting that angle 3 is equal to 70 degrees, okay? So, I, you know, it's pretty simple to figure this stuff out, but, um, you know, just uh, we just got to be able to set up equations and identify how to set them up based off the picture. So I'm going to come over here. Um, both of these were 55 degrees, and this was 70 degrees, okay? Okay, let's take a look at the next one. The next one's a little bit, um, a little bit trickier, okay? Um, and, and we could do this a number of ways. We can start this in a number of ways. Um, but what I know is that, uh, the first thing I notice here, and I'm just going to go ahead and find all of them based off of this picture, um, I've got th these two angles, this is 60 degrees and this is 80 degrees. These are interior angles, and this is my exterior angle here on angle one. So I know that angle one is, is equal to the sum of these two angles. So angle one, I'm going to go ahead and write, okay, 60 plus 80, that's 140. So I know that angle one is equal to 140 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to label that right here, 140 degrees. Okay, and then I know that these two angles are supplementary, okay? And so, um, you know, if, if I know that these two angles are going to add up to 180. So if this is 140, then angle 2 has to be 40, okay? These two angles have to add up to 180, so this is 40 degrees, okay? Mm -hmm. And so from that, I, guys, I'm unable to figure out angle three, okay? I don't know what this angle is right here, um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have to look elsewhere to see what else we can do, okay? Now, the other thing I know how to do is I see that these two angles are also supplementary, okay? So if this is 105 degrees, then angle four has to add, if I add these two together, I'm going to get 180, so I know that, and I can set up an equation for this, angle 4 plus 105 is equal to 180. So if I subtract 105 from both sides, minus 105, then I get that angle 4 is equal to, what is that, 40? No, I'm sorry, 75. So angle 4 is equal to 75 degrees, okay? So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to write that Angle 4 is equal to 75 degrees, okay? And so if this is 75 degrees, okay, I also know that this angle here is 75 degrees, okay, because they're vertical angles, all right? And so, um, so now I can set up an equation and solve for angle 3. So I know that angle 3, okay, angle 3 plus 40 plus 75, if I add those up, that's going to give me 180 degrees, okay? So if I combine my like terms here and here, I get angle 3 plus, okay, what is that? Uh, 115, so 115 is equal to 180. Okay, if I subtract 115 from both sides, then I end up getting that angle 3 is equal to, what is that, 65 degrees? Okay, so this is 65. All right, so over here I'm going to write um, angle 3 is equal to 65 degrees. Okay, and the last one we need to find is, um, is angle 5 over here. Now, angle 5 is an ex exterior angle to these two angles. So what I can do here is I can actually uh, find angle 5. Okay, angle 5, by adding my two uh, interior angles here. And so that would be equal to um, 75 plus 40. So angle 5 is equal to 115 degrees. Okay, so, um, you know, that's that. That's all I'm doing. Um, and so I'm going to call this angle 5 is 115 degrees. Okay. So pretty simple. I'm just using the picture, and you guys can fill that in on the left. Um, and then over here, okay, let's take a look at 14 and 15, uh, the last few. I know we're kind of out of order on those numbers. Um, but here's what I want to do. Um, 
let's take a look at number at this one and let's find angles one and two. Now this looks like it's pretty simple, but um, actually it's kind of tricky. So here's what I know first, okay? The first thing that I notice here is that um, if this angle here is a 90 degree angle, then I can automatically then come over here and say that this angle is 90 degrees because uh, these two angles are supplementary. And if this is 90, then this one has to be 90, okay? So if this right here is a right triangle, okay, then I know that these two angles are complementary, okay? I don't have to add in that extra 90. I can just go ahead and write um, angle 1 plus... Uh, 63 degrees is equal to 90, okay? And if I subtract by 63 on both sides, then I get that angle 1 is equal to, uh, what is that, 90? No, 27, 27 degrees, okay? So angle 1 is 27 degrees. I'm going to write that right here, okay? Now, the interesting thing about this one, folks, is that um, because... These, this angle and this angle, okay, add up to 90. I also know that this angle here and this angle here add up to 90, okay? But I already know that this is 90, okay? And so because this is 90, all right, I have this big triangle here, and I know that 63 degrees is right here in angle 2. If I add these two angles together... It'll be complementary because I have a right triangle. So, and we actually are, are going to end up getting the same thing. So, I have angle 2 plus 63 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. And so, if I subtract by 63 degrees on both sides, then I'm going to get that angle 2 is equal to 27 degrees. Okay. So, uh, you know, it's just, guys, again, we're just setting up equations and, um, you know, looking at a picture and we have to draw conclusions and um, answer some questions. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it and we will see you soon.